What's up everyone, Take Tone here. Welcome back to another video. Today we just went to the fall edition of Geeked Out. So now let's go and check out what we did pick up to add to our collections. Let's get right into this. So first thing I just want to mention is we absolutely love going to Geeked Out. It's way cheaper than Comic-Con in our area and it is a lot of fun and we end up getting a lot more stuff than we usually do at Comic-Con anyways. It's only $5 each to enter free parking whereas Comic-Con was $50 each plus you had to pay for parking. So we do enjoy it more. There is a lot more there usually. And we did pick up a lot of stuff this year once again. The total for this haul was cheaper than the last two. And it was only $235, where every time we went to Geeked Out in the past, we have spent $400 or more occasionally. But this time is only $235. Let's check out what we got. So here is what we picked up this year. Let's start over here. Now, these were one of the coolest items that we found, and honestly, the cheapest. So these are the big comic book uh, Funkos that they have now. So this one's Avengers with Captain America. This one's Black Panther with obviously Black Panther. And we do have one of the Iron Man suits. This is War Machine. And these here were only $25 for all three. So not $25 each, $25 in total for all three. The reason for that is this booth always has damaged Funkos or damaged... Um, boxes of the Funkos so these three here the only thing that was damaged was the boxes which honestly once I took these out of the box they do look a lot better in my opinion and they look like they're going to be awesome to display obviously it still has the plastic wrap on it looks like there's no damage to the plastic case or the plastic shell so we did pick these up $25 for them this here the box was damaged but I was going to take it out anyways and that is a nice addition to the collection. So those there were the cheapest, but in my opinion, one of the coolest items that we did pick up. Now we also did pick up another die cast. I am trying to get a bunch of different movie uh, die cast cars. And this is one that I wanted. It's the Jeep Wrangler from Jurassic Park. So I am looking for the other Jurassic Park vehicle, but we did spot this today. And this one was $20. I actually did find this at another booth. It's just a shell gas pump. But it was only $5, so I decided to add it to my collection because I do want to start getting automotive memorabilia. And that's something small and pretty cheap. So we decided to pick that up. Next is video games. If you guys have seen the hauls from the past, usually I don't pick up too many video games. But today I did get some that were on my list to pick up. Obviously we do have Destroy All Humans 1 and 2. Now Destroy All Humans 2 I found at one booth. It was $10. The disc seems great. And then at another booth, I did find the first one for $15, so I did pay those prices, and those two are great games, absolutely a lot of fun, and finally added them to my collection. Next, we have Start Ski and Hutch. This one was $15. All of them are complete with the manuals as well, but this one here I loved playing whenever I was a kid, so I did want to add it to the collection because me and my dad used to play it all the time. And then finally, I did pick up jackass the game this one was thirty dollars but this game was one of the hardest ones to find in my opinion i have never been able to find it anywhere at other conventions or game stores or anything and it's hard to find even online for me so i decided to pick up those video games there next up is the only item this time that ashley found for herself and that is Stitch riding the rocket she did pay seventy dollars for it which in my opinion is a, still a pretty good price and that's a really fun one to add to her Stitch collection. And obviously, this time I had to pick up comic books. Usually I do avoid them, but this time I decided to get the What Ifs I was missing. So we have What If 97 starring Sabretooth. This one does have a little bit of damage. That's why it's $2. It looks like a little water damage, but that's still pretty cheap. So I decided to get that. 95 with starring Ghost Rider. 93 starring Wolverine. This is 84. What if Shard lived instead of Bishop? 75. What if Blink of Generation X had not died? 57. What if the Punisher became Agent of the Shield? 55. What if the Avengers lost the Galactic Operations or Operation Galactic, Galactic Storm? 52, what if Doom became Sorcerer Supreme? 
26. What if the Punisher had killed Daredevil? So those are the comics that we did pick up. And that is an overhaul of everything that we picked up this time. The total was $235, which in my opinion was still cheap. And these alone was awesome to get all three for $25. We were seeing these at booths for about $30 each. We've seen this one at booths or other ones of the uh, armor that were about $50 each. So $25 for all three was awesome. So I think we did great at this year's Geeked Out. Soon is going to be the Geeked Out GamerCon, which is December 2nd. And then they did announce next year's dates. So the uh, spring Geeked Out event is going to be March 23rd and 24th. The fall one next year is going to be September 28th and 29th. And the third annual GamerCon is going to be announced soon. And apparently they do have another new event coming soon next year as well. So that is going to be awesome that they already have some of the dates announced for next year. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of what we picked up at this year's fall edition of Geeked Out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.